That's just a picture of me. I was going on a diet. I was 26. Do you think that she would have imagined where you are now doing something? Oh, hell no. <laughs> no. Oh, never. I hope someone will volunteer to come and fuck me. I had no clue that my OnlyFans would actually take off. They really wanted to see a true guilt. Older sex is better sex, and it's because we know what we're doing. This is my life. You don't have the right to dictate to me what I can do, what I can't do, what I should do. You were born sexual, you will die sexual. I have informed my cardiologist, I can't die yet, not yet. Sorry, my heart is racing right now. I didn't expect to cry. <laughs> so many people think, why in the world would anybody want to have sex with someone your age? Well, why don't you come on over here and find out? <laughs> oh, please. My hip is just killing me. Three old dogs for one old lady. My name is Michelle Hardenbrook, and I am 69 years old, almost 70. Oh, I'm also in the top 1% of OnlyFans, which is very exciting to me. I've been in the 1% since I started in January of 2020. Good morning. I'm going to fuck this big black cock. Oh, I just had an orgasm, so give me a minute here. <laughs> a friend of mine had suggested a number of different platforms. The thing I liked about OnlyFans is that the split is 80% for me and 20% for them. The second thing that I liked about them is they pretty much let the creators do what they're going to do. Happy Easter. If you were interested in volunteering to film content with me, then send me a direct message on OnlyFans. Some guys want to buy my dirty panties and my used bras. I'm game. I've got 687 photographs on this site, and I've got 172 videos. There are certain things that are forbidden. You can't do pee or poop videos. I do have them because there are people that want them. I've got 42... 1,400 people that have liked my posts. Let me see as I scroll through. And this is a new outfit of mine that I really like. I love red. And I like this picture because my makeup is perfect. I'm not that vain, but come on, you know? I'm gonna be 70 in November and it's like, boy, this has hit me like a ton of bricks. I purposely buy new lingerie for my OnlyFans. And I do that because men get bored. Oh, there's two things in here. Woo, okay. What did mama buy? One of the things about getting older is I order things and then forget I ordered them. So it's like Christmas, <laughs> you know? And I go, what did I buy? Woo, it's a long robe. I like black, it looks good on me. And I have to choose colors that look good on me because otherwise, oh, that's inside out. Otherwise, it washes me out and I'm already so pale, you know? But yeah, see, oh, barely, it doesn't even cover the boobs. So the men will love it. <laughs> and this is the little outfit that I wore when I went viral on Twitter. I hope someone will volunteer to come and fuck me. Uh, this is getting ridiculous. Please be 35 or older and in the New Orleans area. I'll show you a good time. I promise. Everybody wants to fuck a sexy older woman. Well, I am sexy and I am older. So come on over, honey. I got over 5 million views. I mean, 5 million views, holy moly. The day after I posted that video, I realized that I had missed 212 phone calls and 218 text messages. Calls from Austria, Switzerland, Australia, England, they're all asking to volunteer. I think the only thing that I should have put in there that I didn't was how good I am at head, because I really am. 
But this video, it changed everything. I went from 239 followers on Twitter to 66,000. Well, one of those followers was a rap star of some renown. He had uh, seen it and retweeted it with kind of a nasty comment. Who would fuck someone like this? And then he retweeted that and I almost blocked him. But then I thought any advertising is good because that month I made $33,000. What are you thinking about that tweet that people are drawn to? I think because I was asking for volunteers and so many people think that after you reach a certain age, you don't have sex. That's the bottom line, that it's a young person's thing to do. Probably nobody wants to picture their parents having sex. And you sure don't want to picture your grandparents having sex. It's like, oh, surely they're over that. People think that if you're past a certain age, you should be crocheting, you know, blankets and not having sex. But you know what? You can crochet blankets and have sex. It's like if the port is open and I have a willing cock in the room, why should I not enjoy that? And so I do. He's very heavy. How about if I toss it at you? <laughs> and then you can drop the camera and, sorry, a little levity. I keep a condom on him because uh, I am allergic to the material he's made from, because otherwise I will get a raging vaginal infection. And then you have to go to the doctor and you gotta get flakel and you know, you know, not a good thing. He is very heavy. His name is Cliff Branch, but look at this. I think it's funnier than hell. The sex toys they have now, oh my God. Hey, look at this part, he's got a butt, a hole that really works. I bought him for OnlyFans because it was, right at the start of the pandemic, and I was not going to risk my life to seek volunteers. And so I bought Cliff Branch and that Hummer. He's funny. It's, it's got a suction cup. And so I, I did stick it on the door once. Let go. Uh, I had to figure out the right height, you know, because you don't want to be going in the wrong hole, not with something that big. Now you want to see some pictures? They're not in any kind of date order. I like this picture. As you can see, I was a natural redhead until I got old. That's my wedding picture with my third husband, Dick who is a dick. Okay, and this is me right after I had my son. This is the thinnest I've ever been, because after I had him, I lost 69 pounds. Breastfeeding, I tell you, it's a wonder. Now, this is when I was 28 or 29. I worked at a real estate office as a secretary years later. I was a project manager for a commercial real estate investment company. And I thought it would be the last job I would ever have. My boss sold the company and I was no longer needed. I was suddenly 55 years old and unemployed. That was a shocker because I couldn't find another job. And while they are not supposed to ask you your age, many people did. The only job that I was offered was $10 an hour. And you know, it's like, I'm not going back to that. And a friend of mine suggested that I do full body centrist massage with happy endings. And I said, well, that sounds nice. What is it? Because I didn't have a clue because I hadn't had sex in 12 years. So he explained it to me and I said, well, I could do that. And I bought a massage table and advertised on Craigslist. And in the first four days, I had 25 appointments. And some of them would ask me, you know, if I offered more. So it was sort of a gradual progression with the escort work. So then I started building a client base. 
This is my favorite new one. It's red. <laughs> With lingerie, it's a crapshoot. But this one, it's just so pretty. And when I put, put these little panties on, well, that was tricky trying to figure out which way is up. I mean, it has to go this way, I think. And the things I used to dance in, because I love to dance, I cannot dance right now because of my hips and my heart because I'm able to have another heart attack. Okay, this is a body stocking, and I love to wear this and dance like to ACDC or to Journey. You know, I mean, music that I grew up with. Good afternoon from New Orleans, guys. Happy to see you. Hope you're happy to see me. I'm wearing my favorite outfit for you so you can envision fucking me between the tits. I want to remind you all that I am looking for volunteers for my OnlyFans. And so if you want to volunteer, just send me a DM and uh, we'll discuss the particulars, okay? So I did the escort work for 12 years. And then I had some medical problems. This was in October or November of 2019. And they found a mass on my left ovary, which was the only ovary I still had. Then I had my surgery, and I knew that the recovery time is going to be six weeks. That's six weeks with no income. So I had to do something, you know, because I knew I couldn't you know, the day after surgery, I couldn't be having clients up here. There's no way. And then I posted on Twitter that I now had an OnlyFans page. And it was shortly thereafter that I started asking for volunteers to come and have sex with me so I could film the content to put on my OnlyFans. Anthony! How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you. You look good. It's been a long time. Okay, let's go up. I don't move too fast right now. Mm, slow down, huh? Well, I need a new hip. Oh. I get a lot of guys wanting to volunteer. And the first question I always ask is, are you in New Orleans? Because I've had an awful lot of guys volunteer and then not show up. We need to discuss what we're going to do. Do you want just head? I mean, we could do the whole thing if you want. You want head and then sex? Yeah, that's fine. Are you okay with the condom? Yeah. I also asked, do you have proof of COVID vaccination? And normally that's when the conversation ends because a lot of people do not have the COVID vaccination and they're not coming into my house. I'm not, I'm not risking my life. Okay. We're wrong. Bet you missed that. <laughs> We've been knowing each other a long time. I think we met off of Craigslist years ago, um, doing massages. She's one of a kind, for sure. Do you want me on my back or on my uh, knees? I want to do it on top. Oh. I think it's more exciting, though, for younger guys to have, like, an older woman. You know what I'm saying? So she's done been around, you know, so she's done seen so many things. And she's very attractive for being an older lady, so. And then actually she's got the OnlyFans and all these guys want to be with her. So it's kind of like, I feel special. So it's cool. You know, you don't stop being sexual just because, you know, you happen to be in your 60s. You were born sexual, you will die sexual. And I have absolutely no problem being paid for the service that I provide. Any more than a plumber would have a problem. And so I take care of their plumbing. I hope I did already. Oh, you did just fine. <laughs> yeah. I always had to take the condoms off the bed because I got a dog that eats them. Oh, it's definitely nice seeing you again. Nice you look beautiful you. still. Oh, thank you. All right, see you guys later. Nice to meet you. He's a nice guy. Oh, now this. 
Um, that's my high school graduation picture. And I just think that I was just cuter than a bug's ear. But at the time, I didn't. And I can remember my mother telling me when I was 16 years old that it was a damn good thing that I have a good personality because I sure don't have any looks. When I was in my 20s, I literally carried an index card in my wallet with the list of all of my faults. Things that I'd heard from people, oh, you have stretch marks, oh, you have this, oh, you have that. And I carried it in my wallet because if someone said something that was on that list, I would just whip it out. I said, yep, it's been said. But I would take that to heart. I actually have a picture on my computer that was taken from my yearbook when I was a sophomore. And when I saw that, I thought, oh my God, I was pretty. Why didn't anybody tell me? The main thing that sex work taught me is how desirable I am. Not to everybody, you know, but I'm not everybody's cup of tea and that's okay. But there is a great portion of adult men out there that think I'm hot. And it's like, well, hot damn, you know, who knew? But it is totally a growth process. You know, you, you need to be able to look at yourself um, without judgment. Well, we all have a past of some sort. There are happy memories here and there are memories that are not happy. That's part of life. And I have to embrace it all, not just part of it. Okay, so now that's going to be posted on my profile page. I do have to upload immediately after um, a volunteer leaves because the guys are now used to my uploading on Sunday mornings and they know that the volunteers come at 10 o'clock and they know when I'm supposed to upload. And if I don't, they want to know why. 51 views and it's been up for what, 10 or 15 minutes? I just want to motorboat my face in those flawless beauties. He's talking about my boobs. <laughs> Since I started in January of 2020, I've made $205,361.49. Is that more than you've made? Oh, honey. <laughs> that is more than I have ever made in my life. I have been um, well below the poverty level for most of my life. So when I got into this kind of work, suddenly I didn't have to make choices of whether I was gonna buy uh, a box of Kleenex or a gallon of milk. Kleenex was a luxury to me. And when I finally got, to, I think, 45,000 in my bank account, that's when I decided to finally buy a new car because I was driving a 23-year-old Toyota. I don't drive very much, but I enjoy driving it. And I like looking at it when I go outside every day. I, I'm very proud of myself because I earned the money to buy this car. I earned every dime of it. We are going to see a brand new doctor, a dermatologist, to see if I've got skin cancer. I'm kind of worried, but since it was examined just within a few months of my noticing it. Uh, if it is skin cancer, it's been caught early. And it kind of is like the least of my, my worries right now. My biggest worry is my heart. I have major issues with my heart and we don't know what they are yet. We won't know what they are until the 26th when I go in and have my two um, tests done. I already have identified, I have an abdominal aortic aneurysm. It's right here. And if that bursts, I'll be dead within a minute, which causes uh, the, the scariest thing to happen. I get breathless doing nothing. And when I go to lay down in bed at night, 
then I can't breathe. And it feels like you're gonna die. I'm limited because I get so breathless. And so I have to have a job that will pay me a, a good income and not take a lot out of me, especially if I end up having open heart surgery. I have informed my cardiologist I have to live. I have a disabled adult son that I care for and uh, support, and I can't die yet, not yet. I put uh, $2,000 a month towards buying my son a house because my biggest fear is that I will die and he will have no place to live. And the idea of my son being homeless breaks my heart. He's my boy. And it is my job to take care of him. And so I put as much money away as I can every month and I don't touch it for any reason. I live within my budget. Are you afraid about your health right now? Yes, I'm very afraid. I'm afraid I'm gonna die. And then he won't know what to do. He just won't know what to do. And there's nobody to help him. So I'm sorry. And so I try to keep a positive frame of mind. And I'm seeing my doctors and I'm doing everything they tell me to do. And my doctors all know I have to live. And they know why. And they've all told me that they will do everything they can to keep me alive. So I can keep doing OnlyFans. So that I can keep earning money. Sorry, my heart is racing right now. Of course, take it. I just love my my son so much. Hello, babies. Everybody want to eat? It's here. There are several other ladies in the neighborhood that feed feral cats, but to my knowledge, they don't have as many as I do because I've got. Uh, 35 at least. And as you can see, I need to change the litter and get rid of my, my empty cans, but my back just will not do that right now, so it's going to have to wait. That's the tiniest of all of them, so he's my favorite. Yeah, come here. My love. My love. What a sweet baby. What a sweet baby. The only people that I care about, about what their opinion is, is my son. And he loves me. And that's all that matters. You know, the sex work really helped me in a lot of ways. It broadened my mind. I'm a firm believer that every human being has the right to have sexual pleasure in their life. It's a very empowering platform. You know, I've somehow managed to get to almost 70 years of age, and I finally am at a place in my life where I don't have to worry about money every blasted minute of every day. And so, yeah, I'm real proud of myself because I came into my own. I became my own woman. I am beholding to no one. There comes a point in time in every woman's life where she has to embrace who she is and be all right with it, not make any excuses. And if someone doesn't like it, fuck them. 